Welcome back guys. Uh, today's episode, not Evo this time, Scooby. So, uh, been a bit busy myself with the Evo, so Trevor, a good mate of mine, has been on with the uh, Impreza for me. So just down the other shop. This is the engine that came out. Uh, we knocked a crank at Cadwell Park. Uh, so that's the EJ. Says it's an EJ two hundred five apparently, but the VIN tag and everything says it's an EJ two hundred seven, but an open deck version. So what I bought was a crate engine, and this is an EJ two hundred. This is the EJ207, so this is from the blob. So, bought a brand new, genuine Subaru water pump for it. I bought a brand new, uprated 11mm oil pump. Uh, and bought the IAG competition spec sump. So, uh, yeah. And while I've had it in bits, all radiator and everything, they were all grubby. You see where they coat, they blasted them and coated them. Jaggy's getting scrapped, so don't worry. So yeah, I had a lot of stuff powder coated. Cusco strip race, I had it done back in black, uh, as opposed to uh, back blue. So I'd have it a bit black, a bit OE. But yeah, uh, got these heads. These heads have all been reworked, had all valve guides, stem seals, etc. It's got Roger Clark stopper head gaskets on. It's got Roger Clark 11 mil stud and nuts. Uh, Put brand new Medine oil filter on there as well. I think they were about 125 quid. So everything else is looking nice. So hopefully this being a brand new bottom end and all reworked heads should be good for some miles. Not tuning it, staying at 350 horsepower, which is well it is a bit more than standard. So that's the new powder coated top piece. Uh, I had them redone. And the fan shrouds, there were a bit of rust in the bottom, uh, but not perfect obviously, that's copper grease. I uh, put bolts back in. Like a pillock now, what I didn't realise and I didn't take a picture of, is the obvious, one's a five fan, one's a four. Now, I've got no internet here to actually physically check, so I'm kind of hoping that they're right. If not, I'm going to have to strip them back off and swap the fans over. So I got this uh, cam cover off a mate of mine, a lot nicer condition, so better than mine anyway because that's the one that came off my car, the original and flaking, so I'll get that re-powder coated. But yeah, not good, not good. <clears throat> uh, Dean's just been down, a friend of mine, he just fetched me the proper timing tool down so Trevor can get on with that. Got a good few goodies for the car. That's the original cat, still on the original cat, still on the original Subaru Edders. Uh, bought an XED pink for it, and I think that's a box, that's a timing belt kit in that box. So why would you Clark do this? They'll supply you a timing belt kit, which is like a Deco. Deco timing belt kit in Pretza, and then it all comes in a fancy box. I'm sure you always pay for boxes, fancy boxes. Don't get me wrong, they look nice and that, but... As a car blow, you just literally pull them out and throw them in bin. I mean, this is a packaging 11mm high performance stud kit came in. You know, with all these and, and everything, little bandage round, you know. Painful parts, I don't want to be painful boxers. Not two quid off the price of a parts, and I'll take it in a carrier bag. Uh, this is water pump that came off car. To be honest, it had the belt done. It had a timing belt sticker on. Uh, looks brand new. It's a genuine Subaru one with a Japan. Should have really, if I knew this were in nice condition, I probably wouldn't have bought a new one, but it is what it is. In date coated 26 of the first 17. So it isn't very old. I probably would have reused that, should I have known, but. Ah, oh, well. The difference with these blocks is Physically, you see that one breather, this block of mine now is another breather here. I'll just show you that. 
Reason being because this is a blob eye block. You can see that there, so that's got to be blanked. Uh, it's just an extra breather in. That's got, got to be blanked. It's a blob eye block, we come with better pistons. It is an EJ207, same as that, but revised. So it's a lot stronger, a lot better. So yeah, not really done a great deal on the car tonight. Just build them uh, fan cowling up. It's just another job ticks off the list. Uh, hopefully Trevor can get uh, get on and get all that rattled off. And then we can get it back in the car with that clutch. And hopefully, fingers crossed, soon it'll be back on the road. Because I do actually miss driving this. Uh, it is a good, very, very, very good car to drive. So, anyway, thanks for coming. Tune in next time. See you after.